What's up friends, this is your guy here. Welcome back to another video. If you guys enjoy this type of content and I'm doing, I'm continue doing and you guys want to support, you know, smash the like button, subscribe, greatly appreciated. Um, today we're going to be looking at, this is a very interesting topic because I, I, I was reading it and I was just like, this will be such an interesting thing. It's from a scientist uh, trying to debunk the myth that male were practically be uh, not a better hunters than women. Uh, she is from the, the study was done from the University of uh, Notre Dame. Uh, this is from the Daily Mail uh, UK. So this should be very, very interesting because I don't know how, because most of the people I know around me were practically uh, hunters, especially the guys. I don't see many women hunters, but I've seen a couple, which is fine. Women can hunt. That's okay. But there's nothing wrong with that. But it's crazy. Like you're trying to debunk the myth or anything. It's just unrealistic term it doesn't seem to be the case but it's quite interesting so we're going to take a look at it this article and we're going to read through it and see what we our thought and process of it all right this is quite interesting in my point debunking the myth of the male hunter prehistoric prehistoric women were better at hunting than men study claims sorry uh, i can't even talk women have long been seen as child child hearers while men are seen as hunters study claims prehistoric women practice and practice hunting and were better than men wow that's a bold statement right there that's a bold statement <laughs> oh my goodness all right if you envision a prehistoric hunter a vision of a caveman might spring to mind that's true um but a new study claims that these cavemen plead in in comparison to their female counterparts while women have long been as child rears and gatherers and men as hunters researchers from the university of notre dame have debunked that this history i don't know about that um here you go it says their study their study found that not only did prehistoric women engage in the practice of hunting but their female anatomy and biology would have made them <laughs> and strengthenly better suited for it rather than viewing it as a way of erasing or rewriting history our studies are trying to correct the history that erased women from it said dr car ober lead author of the study one thing i have to say in that aspect i find that that's very wrong in so many sentences because you can't just say guys aren't better suited we have the bone density we have the structure we have the strength and we are much more quicker more agile in a sense most men are i'm not saying not all men are and most women there are some exceptions right there are some exceptions i i can i can say for sure there are women out there that are way better than me hunting gathering and doing way more better than me i would accept that no matter what i would never say oh no no i'm not i'm not a bigot i'm not an idiot right i know what i'm good at and i know what some certain certainly what some people are better at me i would not say this because biologically really if you look at the instant I am a built guy. I am more bigger and stronger than a lot of women, and that's okay. And there's some women that are bigger and stronger than me, and that is fine. And to say that they're biologically suited for me better than me to be a better hunter, that's not true. That is absolutely not true. You might be good at trapping. You might be good at doing other things. But to say running down animals and with spears, arrows, or anything like that, and going down and and catching your prey, and you and you say women were better suited because biologically they were better. It's I that alone just blows my mind uh if you envision a prehistoric hunter vision yeah we say that okay the findings show that the female body is better suited for endurance activities which would have been critical in early hunting hmm the main reason for this biological advantage are hormones in this case estrogen and anti 
I can't even put antiphosite, <laughs> which are typically present in higher quantities in female bodies than in males. I mean, testosterone really is a thing, you know, when it keeps going, you have no idea. Um, <laughs> yeah, estrogen is particularly helped by encouraging the body to use its stored fat for energy before use, using up its uh, carbohydrate stores and protecting the body's cells from damage during heat procedures. Professor Ockbert said since fat contains more calories than carbs do, it's a longer, slower burn, which means that the same sustained energy can be keep can keep you going longer and can delay fatigue which is true but not in the sense because like i play soccer all right muscle all muscle you've seen a lot of soccer players there isn't that many fat but most of them have heck of endurance man um I have endurance, not like midfielders, how they do or wingers or wing backs. You know, if you know soccer, you know who does the most running, right? I'm a forward. Um, you know, I stay up there, hold up, play, make sure, but I still can keep myself going for 90 minutes. That's not true in the sense of the matter that this is true at all. Okay. Ostrogen is a real is really the unsung hero of life in my mind. It is so important for um cardiovascular and metabolic health, brain development and injury recovery. The research also discovered that the structure of the female body would have been an advantage in hunting. Not true. Most of your prey would outrun you guys. Period. I'm I'm sorry. Uh with the typical wider hip structure of the female they were able to restore their <laughs> rotate their hips lengthen their steps and <laughs> professor added the longer step you, t you can take the cheaper <laughs> the cheaper they are metabolically and the further you can try not true at all most guys are taller and bigger than women meaning their strides are longer their muscle is built for that you can't tell me that because they're hips no no that's why you see in you cannot compete with when you go into track and field racing sprinters male and females cannot compete it's night and days different you can't even you can't even fathom that which is crazy and then there's more diagram about it. The study and case below con and counter the endurance and activity advances. Uh, man, this is wild. The brain, the liver, you know, the hip, everything. You're saying everything is better, which in my case, it's not true. It's not true. Oh, the suits for future below counter the large hearts and lungs, greater absolute muscle mass, more typical, more type 2 muscles and fiber, increased glucose utilization, testosterone, increased muscles, groups, greater number of red blood cells, which increase oxygen carrying capacity. Interesting. What were the females again? They, she, she sums up men in such low... Um, capability is crazy but then the women is just let's see better physiology <laughs> physiology pacing greater fatigue restraints through central and <laughs> pale uh neuromuscular mechanism better insulate sensitivity and can increase fatty acid oxidase oxidation and spare protein increase fatty acid oxygenation through mechanism involving estrogen and bro no 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 i can't read today to save my life that's crazy though but let's go when you look at human physiology and this way you can think of women as the marathon runners versus men as the power lifters that's not true that's the truth. The best, the best male, uh, the best distant runner by far is from Kenya and is a male. Is a male. There's no no way you can no way no way you can say this. Uh, the study went on to examine fossils for for 
archaeology evidence of women as hunters. This finding indicates prehistoric women not only share in the resulting injuries of the dangerous business of close contact hunting, but that is an activity held in high esteem and value by them. According to the fossil records, both males and females have the same resulting hunting injuries and equal rates of wear and tear. Evidence also found of early female hunters in the Holocene period in Peru where females were buried with hunting weapons, which is probably true. Most people and most society are different. That's okay. Professor said you don't often get buried with something unless it was important to you and was something that you use frequently frequently in your life. Furthermore, we have no reason to believe that prehistoric women abandon their hunting while pregnant, breastfeeding or carrying child carrying children nor do we see in the deep past in any indigenous that a strict sexual divi division of labor exists hunting belongs to everyone not just to males there weren't enough people living in groups to be specialized in different tasks everyone had to be yes that is true that is true. But at the same time, when a woman is, is pregnant, I'm pretty sure she's not the one doing it. I'm pretty sure she has a counterpart or she lives in a community where the male majority of the time male are going to do. Because guess what? Who's lifting those heavy prey and coming back with them? Who's lifting those things and whatever they hunt to come back with it? Most of the time it's men. You need strong male to do that. It's crazy that the fact of the matter that they're trying to debunk the fact women can hunt. I'm not saying women can't it doesn't belong it doesn't belong to men but majority of men are the one hunting that's all i gotta say man i'll see you guys later peace out